welcome back. It's Genevieve. And Haley. And we're back with another great video from the Native Pollinator Initiative. Have you tried to take a photo to submit to Bumblebee Watch, but it was blurry, too far away, or maybe out of focus? We know how hard it is to photograph bumblebees. So today, we're bringing you Bumblebee Photography 101. Here are our top five tips on how to get a great photo of a bumblebee. Tip number one may seem self-explanatory, but it makes finding bumblebees a breeze. The first thing to do is find a patch of flowering plants and wait. Bumblebees will visit flowers for pollen and nectar, so it's the best spot to look for bees. Once you spot one, start taking photos as she moves from flower to flower. Tip number two, try to get several angles of the same bee. You want a photo showing the top of the bee, the side, and the face. These are all important in helping researchers identify the bumblebee. Here's an example of two bumblebees that look alike, but when viewed from the side and the front, you can tell that they're two different species. On the yellow bumblebee, the black bands on the thorax does not extend below the wing base, and the hairs on the face are black. On the northern amber bumblebee, the black bands on the thorax continues below the wing base, and it has yellow hairs on the face. Without these angles, we wouldn't have been able to identify the yellow bumblebee from the northern amber bumblebee. Tip number three. Use the burst mode on your phone so that you can snap lots of photos all at once. This is especially helpful when the bee is flying around or is especially quick. Here's how it works on an iPhone. Once you've taken photos in burst mode, you can sort through them and choose the best photos for your submission. Tip number four. Crop your photos close to the bee. Did you know that you can edit your photos right on your phone? You can resize the photo to have more of the bee in the picture. These close-ups help make identifications easier for our experts. Tip number five, our last one. Take a video of the bubble bee. Once you have the video, you can take screenshots of it that you can use for your Bumblebee Watch submission. This is a great way to capture many different angles without having to worry too much about getting just the right shot. And there you have it, our top five tips for getting the best photo of a bumblebee. Now get outside, find a patch of flowers, and start snapping photos of bumblebees. And of course, submit them to Bumblebee Watch so that you can practice the identification skills that you've learned. Not sure how to upload a photo? Check out episodes three and four, where we take you through the steps on submitting photos to both the website and the app. Thanks for joining us. Hey Haley, I think you'll like today's joke. What's a bumblebee's blood type? I know this one, B positive. Good one, Genevieve. See you all next time, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.